Ever wondered whether you'd prefer living in a bustling city or a network of interconnected towns, each with its own charm and autonomy? Now think about this in terms of your digital transactions. Centralized or decentralized platforms, which would you choose? Welcome to the world of cryptocurrency, where the landscape is as varied as our physical world. Picture a bustling cityscape with a towering skyscraper at its heart, overseeing all activities. This is the realm of centralized crypto platforms, where operations are managed by a single entity, much like a traditional banking system. Transactions, regulations, decision-making, all under the control of this central authority. It's a world that offers convenience and efficiency, but also exposes users to potential risks such as data breaches or manipulation due to centralized control. Now imagine a vibrant network of interconnected towns, each with its own governance and autonomy, yet linked through shared values and protocols. Welcome to the world of decentralized platforms operating on a distributed ledger technology like blockchain. Here, every participant in the network has an equal role in decision-making, maintaining records and validating transactions. It's a world that prioritizes transparency, security, and autonomy, fostering trust through consensus mechanisms and allowing users to have greater control over their assets and information. Centralized platforms with their clear hierarchy and streamlined operations offer a familiar, user-friendly interface. It's a tightly controlled ecosystem where decisions and policies come from a single source. But are you comfortable in trusting this central authority with your assets and information? On the other hand, decentralized platforms built on the principles of distributed control and consensus offer a more democratic and resilient system. They promote trust through cryptographic verification and allow users greater control over their assets without relying on intermediaries. But are you ready to engage in a system that might be less familiar and a bit more complex? Whether you prefer the efficiency and oversight of a central authority or the transparency and autonomy provided by decentralization, the choice is yours. As we dive deeper, you'll get a clearer picture of both these platforms, their characteristics, benefits and drawbacks. Imagine a centralized platform as a towering skyscraper overseeing all activities. Sounds familiar, right? It's quite similar to our traditional banking systems. This skyscraper is a bustling city of financial transactions where everything operates from a central point. It's like the nerve center of a sprawling metropolis where every decision, every regulation and every transaction is managed by a single authority. The central authority in this cityscape is akin to the mayor's office. It calls the shots, sets the rules and ensures that everything runs smoothly. The citizens or users of the platform trust this authority to safeguard their assets much like you would trust a bank to keep your money safe. The advantage is that everything is streamlined, organized, and efficient. Transactions are quick, customer service is readily available, and the whole experience is designed to be user-friendly. But just like any city, this centralized cityscape has its own set of challenges. The reliance on a single authority can sometimes expose users to risks. Imagine if the mayor's office was compromised, what would happen to the city and its citizens? The same applies to centralized platforms. If the central authority is compromised, users could potentially face issues like data breaches, manipulation, or even loss of assets. Moreover, the centralized cityscape can sometimes feel a little too controlled. The mayor's office makes all the decisions and the citizens have little to no say in these matters. It's like living in a city where the only news channel is run by the city council and the only bank is owned by the mayor. Sure, it's convenient and efficient, but it can feel a bit restrictive and opaque. In the world of cryptocurrencies, centralized platforms act as the gatekeepers of transactions and data. They serve as the bridges between the traditional financial world and the world of digital assets. Users trust these platforms to manage their digital assets, execute transactions, and provide services. However, this trust comes with a price. By using a centralized platform, users hand over control of their assets to a third party. They must trust this third party to keep their assets secure, to provide fair and transparent services, and to respect their privacy. 
This model, while efficient and user-friendly, can potentially expose users to risks if the central authority is compromised. So, while the centralized cityscape of crypto platforms offers convenience and a sense of familiarity, it does come with its own set of challenges. The key is understanding these challenges and making informed decisions about where and how to manage your digital assets. While centralized platforms offer convenience and user-friendly interfaces, they do come with their own set of challenges, especially around data security and privacy. As we move forward in our journey through the world of cryptocurrencies, it's essential to keep these considerations in mind. Now picture a decentralized platform as a vibrant network of interconnected towns, each operating on shared values and protocols. Intriguing, isn't it? Each town, in this case, represents a node or participant in the network, all functioning on a distributed ledger technology like blockchain. Every participant has an equal role in decision-making, maintaining records and validating transactions. This creates a transparent and trustless environment, a stark contrast to the centralized cityscape we just walked through. In the world of decentralized platforms, there isn't a towering skyscraper controlling all activities. It's more like a bustling bazaar where everyone has a say and the power doesn't lie with a single entity. There's no central authority to oversee transactions or make decisions. Instead, decisions are made through consensus mechanisms which ensure transparency and reduce the risk of manipulation or fraud. Let's delve a little deeper into these consensus mechanisms. They are the backbone of decentralized platforms providing the rules and procedures that all participants follow. Some common consensus mechanisms include proof-of-work and proof-of-stake. These mechanisms ensure that all transactions are validated and recorded by the network and not by a single entity. It's like a group agreement where everyone has a say and decisions are made collectively. This democratic process fosters trust. Users have greater control over their assets and information without needing to rely on intermediaries. It's a system that values autonomy and security. On decentralized platforms, you're not just a customer, you're a participant, a stakeholder. You have a say in how the platform operates and evolves. But like everything, decentralized platforms have their challenges. They might not be as user-friendly or efficient as their centralized counterparts. Transaction speeds can be slower due to the consensus process, and customer support might not be as readily available. But these are trade-offs for a system that offers transparency, security, and resistance to censorship. Moreover, decentralized platforms are more resilient. Since there's no central point of failure, they are less susceptible to attacks or system failures. Even if one node goes down, the network continues to function, ensuring continuity and reliability. And then there's the question of privacy. In a centralized system, your data is stored in a central location, making it a potential target for breaches. But in a decentralized network, your data is distributed across multiple nodes, making it more difficult for malicious actors to access. Decentralized platforms also embody the principle of censorship resistance. Unlike centralized platforms, which can be controlled or monitored by authorities, decentralized platforms are distributed and autonomous. They allow users to engage in transactions or activities without the fear of arbitrary restrictions or censorship. Decentralized platforms, while less streamlined, offer a democratic and resilient system, promoting transparency and security. They may not provide the convenience of a centralized system, but they certainly empower users by giving them control and choice. And in a world that's increasingly digital, that's a powerful thing. In a world that values freedom of speech and action, censorship resistance plays a crucial role. But how do centralized and decentralized platforms fare in this aspect? Let's dive into this by first looking at centralized platforms. Picture a bustling city with a towering skyscraper at its core overseeing all activities. This is the apt metaphor for centralized platforms. They have a clear hierarchy with a single entity having the reins of control. This structure, while offering convenience and streamlined operations, also opens the door to potential censorship. Governments or regulatory bodies can impose constraints, monitor activities, or even shut down operations if they see fit. For users, this can mean a curtailment of their freedom, a limitation on their transactions, and a feeling of being under constant scrutiny. Now let's shift our gaze to the decentralized platforms. Imagine a network of interconnected towns, each with its own governance yet linked through shared values and protocols. 
The absence of a central authority in this setup makes it inherently resistant to censorship. Decentralized platforms operate on distributed ledger technology like blockchain, where every participant has an equal role in decision-making, maintaining records and validating transactions. This means no single entity can control or limit the activities of the network, making it a more democratic and resilient system. In this landscape, users are empowered. They have control over their assets and information, free from the fear of arbitrary restrictions or manipulation. The consensus mechanisms foster trust and transparency, reducing the risk of fraud. In essence, decentralized platforms are like a free-spirited town where everyone has a say and no single authority can impose its will. So while centralized platforms may be subject to regulatory control, decentralized platforms empower users against arbitrary restrictions. The choice ultimately lies in what you value more, the convenience and oversight of a central authority or the freedom and autonomy of a decentralized system. We've explored the bustling city and the network of towns. Now it's time to make a choice. Centralized or decentralized, what's your preference? In the world of crypto, this choice is often a defining one. It's like choosing between living in a bustling city with its skyscrapers and the comfort of a well-regulated environment, or opting for a network of vibrant towns, each with its own unique flavor, yet connected through shared values and protocols. Centralized platforms, much like a towering city skyscraper, have their allure. With a clear hierarchy and centralized control, they offer convenience and efficiency. Transactions are faster, customer support is readily available, and the interface is often user-friendly. It's similar to the comfort of a well-organized bank, but remember, this comfort comes with its own set of challenges. As users, we are required to trust the central authority implicitly. This centralized control might expose us to issues like data breaches or manipulation. It's a tightly controlled ecosystem where decisions and policies come from a single source. On the other hand, decentralized platforms, like a network of interconnected towns, prioritize transparency, security, and autonomy. They operate without a central authority, functioning on a distributed ledger technology like blockchain. Every participant in this network shares an equal role in decision-making, maintaining records and validating transactions. It's a transparent, trustless environment that fosters trust through consensus mechanisms and allows users to have greater control over their assets and information. While it might be less streamlined in some aspects, it's a more democratic and resilient system. Let's also consider censorship resistance. Centralized platforms, due to their inherent nature, are susceptible to censorship or control by authorities. Governments or regulatory bodies might impose restrictions or monitor activities on these platforms. On the flip side, decentralized platforms, being distributed and autonomous, are more resistant to censorship or control from any single entity. They empower users to engage in transactions or activities without the fear of arbitrary restrictions. So how do you choose between the two? It often boils down to your personal preferences and priorities. Are you drawn to the efficiency, speed and familiarity offered by centralized platforms or do you value the transparency, autonomy and resistance to censorship that decentralized platforms offer? Remember, neither is inherently better than the other. Each has its strengths and weaknesses. Centralized platforms might offer a more streamlined experience, but they come with potential security and privacy concerns. On the other hand, decentralized platforms might be less user-friendly, but they offer a higher degree of control and transparency. So take a moment to reflect. What's more important to you? The convenience and speed of a centralized platform or the autonomy and transparency of a decentralized one. As you ponder over this, bear in mind that this isn't a one-size-fits-all decision. Your choice might change based on the specific context or the nature of the transaction. For instance, you might prefer a centralized platform for a quick small-scale transaction due to its speed and convenience. However, for a large-scale transaction, you might lean towards a decentralized platform for its transparency and security. Ultimately, the choice is yours. Like and subscribe and stay knowledgeable. We've journeyed through the bustling city and the network of towns, exploring the pros and cons of centralized and decentralized platforms. We've seen the convenience, efficiency and user-friendly interface of centralized platforms. These platforms much like a towering city skyscraper, offer a sense of familiarity and comfort. 
We've also noted that this comfort comes with a level of trust in the central authority, a trust that might expose us to potential data breaches or manipulation. On the other hand, we've ventured through the network of vibrant towns, each representing a decentralized platform. We've seen how these platforms prioritize transparency, security and autonomy, functioning on a distributed ledger technology like blockchain. They offer a more democratic and resilient system, resistant to censorship or control from any single entity. The digital world is vast and diverse, offering a range of options to suit different needs and preferences. Whether you choose the bustling city or the network of towns, remember that the choice is ultimately yours. Each has its strengths and weaknesses, and your choice might change based on the specific context or the nature of the transaction. Thank you for joining us on this journey. We hope this exploration has given you a clearer picture of centralized and decentralized platforms, helping you make an informed choice for your digital transactions. As we wrap up, remember to like, subscribe and stay knowledgeable.